Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up because we're about to dive headfirst into some of the most outlandish claims from none other than Candace Owens. Now, I've got to be honest with you, she says so many ridiculous things one after the other that it's honestly hard to keep up sometimes. But let's try to get through a few of the recent ones, shall we? First up, she claims that critics of Israel fear for their lives. Hold on a second now. From the Inquisition, the Kishinev pogrom, all the way to the Holocaust, it's been the Jewish people fearing for their lives, not the other way around. The idea that critics of Israel are somehow in mortal danger is just plain laughable. Last I checked, those critics are alive, well, and as loud as ever. Next, we've got the delightful theory that the Jews were behind the assassination of JFK. This one's a real crowd pleaser if your crowd is into baseless accusations and historical revisionism, that is. The Warren Commission, after nearly a year of investigation, found absolutely no evidence of anything of this sort. But hey, maybe this mysterious Jewish cabal Owens is talking about sabotaged the Warren Commission as well, right? And now, I hope you're ready for the real madness. Candace Owens claimed that Joseph Stalin is Jewish. That's like saying a bacon cheeseburger is kosher. Stalin born Losef Jogashvili was raised Georgian Orthodox and spent his career making life miserable for Jews. During the Great Purge and other campaigns, Many Jews were executed, sent to labor camps, or died as a result of harsh conditions. If that's her idea of a Jew, I'm afraid to find out what her idea of an anti-Semite is. But of course, no blood libel against the Jews is complete without a libel against the state of Israel. Candace goes straight for the big prize and accuses Israel of genocide against the Palestinians. Now let's look at the facts, shall we? Israel goes to extreme lengths to avoid civilian casualties, despite facing enemies who routinely hide behind civilian populations. Israel even allows humanitarian aid to flow into Gaza regularly. Yes, you heard that right. Over 100,000 tons of goods, including food, medicine, and other essentials, are transferred monthly into Gaza even when rockets are flying back. And let's not forget the countless attempts at peace. Israel has offered land for peace, participated in negotiations, and even unilaterally withdrew from Gaza in 2005, hoping for peace. Unfortunately, these gestures are often met with more violence, not from all Palestinian people, but from extremist groups that reject Israel's very existence. So genocide? Not even close. If Israel were committed genocide, then the Palestinian population wouldn't have increased by millions over the last few decades. Instead, what we see is a complex, tragic conflict where Israel still strives to minimize harm, provide aid, and seek peace, even in the face of relentless hostility. Candace Owens, in her apparent campaign against Jews and common sense, has woven a web of conspiracies where facts are optional and anything goes as long as it serves the story. The real conspiracy isn't the one she's selling, folks. It's a conspiracy against the truth. By pushing these half-baked ideas, Owens isn't just wrong, she is perpetuating a dangerous cycle of ignorance and hate. Think about it for just one second. If this Jewish Zionist cabal she talks about is so powerful, why was it not able to stop the crazy demonstrations against Israel? Why does Israel find itself isolated on the world stage after being attacked on the 7th of October? And why is it that the Jewish people in Europe and in America find themselves fearing for their lives more than ever? Friends, 
Before you dive headfirst into the conspiracy rabbit hole, take a step back. Remember Proverbs 12, 19. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. History is your ally. Facts are your best defense against conspiracies, and the Word of God will guide you to discern what is right if you allow it. Sure, the truth may not be as flashy as falsehood, but it's a whole lot more reliable, and it won't leave you looking like you just bought a ticket to Candace Town.